What's going on guys? Danny Kyling here with Western Welding Academy. Today we're going to do a little bit of plasma cutting 101. I got Evan Hurtado here today. He's one of our students here on second shift. He's going to be doing just a little simple plasma cutting here. Uh, Evan, when you're plasma cutting, it's really simple. It's, it, uh, there's so much technology in it that it just makes it almost uh, to where anyone can cut with plasma. Plasma is actually a, a, is one of the elements in the world that you got uh, fire and liquid, all that. Plasma is actually another element, believe it or not. Um, but plasma, you're just using uh, the arc and it creates a plasma, basically. And it, it works really good to cut uh, carbon steel, even cuts uh, like uh, exotic stuff like stainless and aluminum that you cannot cut with oxyacetylene okay. fuel. Did you know that? Uh -uh. Yeah, so like if you go try to cut a piece of aluminum, it won't cut with just a regular torch, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. Same with stainless. You won't get that cut with just a regular torch. You can cut it with a grinder, but you can't really cut it efficiently. Plasma cut cutter is about the most efficient way. Um, so, with that, we just get, well, all you need there basically is with this welder, we just, or this plasma cutter, all we need is a 110 power source, and then you gotta have compressed air. Some units come with compressed air in them, um, a little pump. Mm -hmm. Basically, you just hook up to your air compressor with this one. Um, you got a little self-made self-regulator in there, and usually you filter out that oxygen or that uh, water H2O in that line. It filters that water out, and then it's a nice dry oxygen atmosphere going into that uh, plasma cutter. Cool. The way this one's designed here, it's pretty simple. This is not a drag tip. So drag tips, you can always, you always can touch on the material. Uh -huh. But if you see on this one down here, if you look, you can see that it keeps you a certain distance away. All Just right. almost like a hand torch with oxyacetylene, right? Yeah. But we got to kind of keep this thing above it. This one's got that little slick little guide, and you can just use that, and then you'll never touch that tip. Okay. They do have specialty tips out there with little grooves in them. Uh -huh. And then grooves let that sparks basically fly, oh, your okay. trough basically, all that to go away. And you got, just like MIG weld, you kind of got to clean them off every once in a while. Um, I really like uh, plasma because it's really, really efficient. Uh, cool. You're going to see that uh, it's a really quick way of uh, just cutting really thin material. Mm -hmm. And they do make big ones that can cut real thick material. Okay. Um, but it's really nice where you can make a real fast cut. That's nice. Okay. I'm just gonna let you do it. It's okay, that sweet. simple, dude. It's that simple. Sweet, um, sweet yep, and you, you don't even technically, what we would probably have is uh, you can wear your hood or you can wear a pair of sunglasses. If you want, you can wear your hood. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna do your dry run, kinda get it going, like just like welding, right? Yeah. And you're gonna wanna watch that and you're just gonna follow it along. Yeah. And you can, with plasma, you can either pull or push, whichever way you like going. Is our ground up? Did I, oh, I gotta hook you to air. Hey! <laughs> Don't forget, you always <laughs> gotta hook it up to the air source okay. or it's not gonna cut, right? right? Yep. And then there's gonna be a blinking light usually that All says right. that it ain't gonna work. Okay. So we're gonna make this cut here. We're gonna follow our line like we was. We're gonna finalize that cut. We're gonna kind of look at it to see. You can kind of see them lines and they're just like oxyacetylene cutting to see if we did it at the right speed right. or whatever. All right. um, so give her a try there, buddy. There you go. There you go. There you go, you're good now. Just stop. Yep, so we got that finished. Now let's finish up this end here. Good job. So that's pretty common with plaz to actually, your piece won't actually uh -huh. exactly fall off all the time. Okay. Um, especially when you're cutting the thicker iron, but it usually just breaks off pretty easy just like that. Um, the thicker iron does that, so don't, mm -hmm. it's pretty common. Okay. Um, the cool thing is it is a very clean cut. If you want to get in here, you can actually pull off all that trough. Okay. That's called your trough, right? Mm -hmm. That's your, you know, that's your, um, kind of your, like your slag, just like yeah. welding, right? Um, and you, knock, you can just knock that stuff off, or you can come underneath it and just kind of knock it like that, and it pops off there. Look at that. That's slick. So, if we look at these lines here, 
if you see them right now, they're just angled just a little bit back. That means you're doing it just about right. You could go a little slower, but I'd go that same okay. speed so you don't weld it back together right. as you cut it. Mm -hmm. One other thing about plasma cutting, when you get out there on the job, it's your plasma cutting and you're running and you're welding over it. Make sure you grind that plasma cut off. I don't know what it is with plasma, but it leaves something, a little film or mill scale on there. And believe me, like you might think it'll be all right, but it'll give you porosity. Oh, okay. So you want to knock all that slag off and you want to grind that completely clean and or at least wire wheel it. I'd always grind it clean. Right. So I got what's set up here for you is a, just a simple circle and a triangle. Um, let's give them a shot, see if we can get them out. All right. Just do the circle and then go straight to the triangle. So you can feel free to keep talking to him about like okay. what he should be watching out for. Yep. While okay. You so sometimes when you're when you're cutting out of a just a plate, what you want to do is you want to cut in the middle. Okay. You want to cut in the middle of that and then go out to your line. Because sometimes if you pierce right away when you're not on an edge, it's gonna blow out on you and it's gonna make a big cut. All right, good job. Blue breaker again. Now that now that you now that you already got that pierced wow. though, so you got that pierced. Um, you can start on that edge. Right. You know what I mean? When you don't when you don't got that uh, a hole started, you want to start in the middle. So if it messes it up, whatever you're gonna throw away, the hole. You know you don't want your edge to be messed up. So you start on that middle. Oh, okay. So here you're good. You can just start right on that edge. And try not to be jumpy. Good job. That's just a lot like welding. Um, if you're steady, it'll it'll be a nice nice clean cut. If you're not very steady, you're gonna kind of get a jagged cut. Same thing here. Um, you can just knock that slag off that bottom slide real slick and look at that cut. That's nice. Yep. Oh. Cool. Well, that concludes today's video. Plasma cut in 101. Evan, you did an awesome job, bro. Give me a little nucks. Uh, yeah, so we did a nice little circle, a little bit of layout, cut that line, knocked off that slag on the back side, um, and it came out to be a really nice cut. Yep. So if you guys like this video and this content, let us know. Um, until then, we'll see you on the next weld.